think that would be a potentially uh, disastrous uh, decision. A and uh, the short answer is this. Uh, we've, been, we've, we've been able over the last 40 plus years uh, to manage this question and, and, and manage it effectively in a way that's uh, allowed remarkable progress uh, for the people of Taiwan, uh, a strong democracy, uh, a strong economy, uh, an innovative country that has a lot to contribute to the world, uh, and done it in a way that has also uh, maintained important stability in the relationship between the United States and China, uh, grounded in the one China policy, which we continue uh, to adhere to. And unfortunately, what we've seen in the last, um, uh, in the last couple of years is China trying uh, to change that status quo. Uh, by increasing uh, the pressure on, uh, on Taiwan, uh, by engaging in provocative uh, military maneuvers uh, and actions, uh, by trying to isolate uh, Taiwan and deny its engagement uh, with the rest of the world, with the international community. And that's what's dangerous. Uh, so we are resolutely committed to, um, uh, to Taiwan, uh, to uh, uh, making sure it has the means uh, to defend itself. But here again, I hope that the China's leaders think very carefully about this and about not precipitating a, a, a crisis that um, would have, I think, uh, terrible consequences uh, for, uh, for lots of people and one that's in no one's interest, uh, starting with China. Uh, clear and consistently clear.